Hey, how's it going? It's Carl, AKA Carl Drum Tech, and I'm here right now at The Grove in Los Angeles, California. I have the beautiful Hollywood skyline right behind me, and uh, I am here finishing up my Christmas shopping here for the day. Uh, it's kind of funny, because like there's still a lot to be done, but I definitely got a lot done in terms of shopping. And I just want to say, hey, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, hopefully you and your family are having a good one. So today I wanted to talk about something that happened on the uh, uh, fa uh, Instagram account that I have um, I don't, you, uh, maybe you know but like I put out videos out there where like I drum and um, you know gives like little pointers and tips and little less mini lessons and um, that's kind of what I've been doing with my Instagram account and on one of the videos recently I had somebody comment hey that you play really well but your technique sucks <laughs> And that's pretty much like how I can take that, right? I mean, I pretty much replied, LOL, thanks? LOL. And really, that for me, that's the, the, that's the best way for me to respond to something like that. I mean, to just kind of laugh it off and it's like, <laughs> whatever. I mean, I've built my core, core confidence up to a point where like stuff like that doesn't really bother me. And if anything, I welcome it. I want more negative comments because I want to feel that pressure. I, I want to be able to take that kind of criticism and just laugh it off and be totally cool about it. And um, the really sad part is like, you know, I mean, and you know, does it hurt? Yeah, sure, a little bit, okay? But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's cool, like, I, I get over it, and it's like, it's not a big deal. I'm not talking bad on this person at all. You know, this person probably doesn't know any better, probably really young. You know, and it's like, you know, they're caught in that little, like, like little squid, that, that little box of, you know, just like their school, their technique, what they're learning, and it's all about that. And I, I'm gonna talk about that I'm gonna expand on that con expand on that concept a little bit more. But um, you know, the really sad part is, is that like you know, what if this person had made that comment to another, maybe let's say a younger student, maybe a younger percussionist, and you know, this person is like, let's say, you know, the the the, the person who's putting out the content out there is like, you know, maybe they're not that confident, maybe they're really shy, maybe they don't want to put their stuff out there because they're, they're afraid of negative criticism, but they muster up the strength to put it out there, and you know, they 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 do that, and then here comes somebody saying, hey, you suck, or hey, your playing is terrible. I mean, <laughs> that is really sad. I mean, when you make, when you, if you make a comment like that, how does that really help the other person? It doesn't. You know what it does? You know what that comment is for? It's for the person making the comment because it props up their ego and now they're thinking, well, it's all about my technique. It's all about my playing. I'm the best. Like, I'm better than you. And that's, all, that's the only reason why this person is making that comment. And like, for the person who is receiving that comment, it's like, now maybe their confidence is shot, now maybe they don't want to put videos out there anymore, now maybe like, you know, they want to give up drums. And how does that help anybody? That is my big question for today. So what is the alternative? You're probably asking. Well, how about give a damn compliment? How about, you know, watch a video and say, see something you like and say, hey, I like that. Hey, that was really cool. Hey, I really, I really love your sound quality there. Just Give value, and if you want to make a constructive criticism, or any kind of criticism, make it constructive, make it positive. Like say, hey, you know, like, I have this certain technique, it's really helped me out in a lot of ways, so, you know, like, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna show it to you if you want, and maybe it'll help you out too. Something like that would be really valuable to somebody who is receiving a comp compliment or comment like that. But if you just say, hey, you suck, I mean, that, that gives no value to anybody. That has, that has no productivity whatsoever. So, you know, just look at, you also want to look at it in the big picture. I, I had a, I, I took a class, a music appreciation class, and the teacher was a former DCI judge. His name is William Doyle. And um, it was, a, like I said, it's a music, world music appreciation class. And he showed a video, uh, it was probably a musician or, or a trumpet player or something like that in a Latin American country. And he's playing trumpet and he's, you know, playing it to his, cultural sensitivities and um, you know it's like the you know the teacher William Doyle is saying okay look at this video look at this guy look at his playing is he playing like not that great yeah is he like you know um, is his technique not that great yeah maybe but guess what he doesn't care <laughs> he doesn't care because he's just having fun he's just doing his thing 
he's doing it as an expression of himself. He is just like, you know, expressing the culture um, by the way he plays. And it's like, it's all good. Like, who cares if his technique is bad? Who cares if he plays bad? Like, in the grand scheme of things, it's all about just having fun. It's all about expressing yourself, pushing yourself. And yes, I'm not saying that you shouldn't focus on technique. I'm not saying you shouldn't try to be the best player or best percussionist or best musician you should be. That is not what I'm saying at all. But what I am saying is look at the bigger picture. At the end of the day, it's all about all of us just you know trying to grow and try to be the best versions of ourselves, whether that's through playing music, whether that's through dancing, whether that's through art, our careers, our work, finance, whatever it is, just try to be the best you can be and don't sit around freaking making comments and like, you know, criticizing people in a negative way. I mean, it's, if you do, like what I got from that person is the equivalent of if you're walking around and you say, hey, I like your sweater, but your pants, horrible, terrible. They look terrible on you. Again, right, that doesn't help anybody at all. You know what will help? Give positive feedback, give positive comments, compliments, and that is giving value. See somebody on the street, make a compliment, hey, I like your dress, hey, I like your shirt. You know, you're, you're, you're uh, checking out at the grocery store, you say, you know, you, you, t you uh, talk to the, tel the uh, checkout person, you say, hey, how's your day? Hey, is, uh, thank you so much for helping me out today. Hey, I like your shirt. I mean, something like that just kind of could, could really brighten somebody's day, and I guarantee you, everybody did that the world would be a greater place. So when you go around and you're watching drum videos and you're watching people do their thing, like give some value and compliment people. And like I said, if you wanna give some criticism, make it positive, make it constructive, and let's all try to help each other out and not in a negative way. So hopefully uh, you got something out of that, uh, this little rant that I had today. It's a little bit long, but um, I, I think it's a very important message. I, like I said, um, I want to change the activity in a very positive way. And um, this is my way of doing it. Kind of like, you know, just giving um, some uh, perspective on some of the things I've learned in terms of just being positive, in terms of like helping people out. And uh, hopefully this will spread to other people so that uh, they can better themselves and hopefully make the world a little bit better, especially the marching percussion activity. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. So anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much if you've been watching. I know it's a long one, so thank you for your patience. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully you learned something. And until next time, take care. Hey, what's up? Okay, so I got a question on if I can do a little breakdown on tachadas. So tachadas is basically, you know, where you have a triplet and then you flam the second note of the triplet partial. So whereas you have a flam accent where you flam the first note of the triple partial, in this case, you are flamming the second note of the triplet partial. Get that one more time. So on the first triplet, the flam is on the left hand. And then on the, sec on the left hand triplet, the flam is gonna be in the right hand. So one more time. Okay, so as far as like a quick breakdown, um, obviously when you first learn it, try to do it slow. Okay, and then really focus on getting the attack of that flam and just, you know, focus more on that and make sure you lift, okay, because it is a tap height. And as you get faster, just again, keep thinking about that attack and that entrance for the flam. Okay, now I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, okay, how do I play faster? I'm having trouble playing it faster. Because you know, we play it slow, and for the most part, most people should be able to play any rudiment really freaking slow. But the key is like, how do you play it faster? Okay, so um, one breakdown you could use is just, you know, for the first, so what you would do is just kind of get this down. And just try to get it faster and faster. And same thing on the left. And then all together. And then you just want to think that the right hand, especially on that breakdown where you go, 
just um, the right hand's doing this, right? But it's not a clean where all the spaces, where all the space in between each note is the same. Because the second note is a grace note, it has to come in a little bit earlier than the left hand entrance. So it's more like a da da uh, da da uh, da da uh. So it's a little bit tricky. So it's not, so, and we can go into a long conversation about, you know, timing of the grace notes and things like that. But um, for the most part, you want to think of it like that, where if you really want to think of it correctly, it's going to go first note accent, then a little bit earlier, and it's low, right? Because we're dropping the grace notes, and it's low on the second note, and then you relift on the third note. So it'd be more like this. Technically. Otherwise, if it's too even, you might pop that uh, left hand entrance. Oops. Can't pop it on purpose. But it's a little bit tricky, right? Okay, so there it is. Try to do the best I can to break that down for you. Hopefully you got a little something out of it. Uh, as you can see, it is a really difficult rudiment. And, um, but yeah, uh, have fun with it. Good luck. And let me know if you guys have any questions or comments uh, in the comments section below. Other than that, see you guys next time.